When a friend asked for help finding a home for an antique piano, a local pianist had his doubts. I thought the, the, the piano was a beautiful uh, piece of furniture, it was, it was an interesting piece, but that I didn't think that it would uh, be accepted as a gift uh, unless they would give a long uh, money for restoration. It's got felt on the hammers, which, yeah. which have been uh, hammered, and that muffles the sound quite a bit. Enter Ken Hubner. You have to be a, very patient to work on instruments. Someone I know likes to say that you have to be slightly bit crazy <laughs> because it will test your patience. Hubner's restoration allowed the 200-year-old square piano to be donated to the New London Maritime Society. One thing that was interesting about this instrument as far as previous work done on it, um, it, it had modern piano wire on it, modern tuning pins, which don't work and actually create large problems. They can warp the case. Uh, modern piano wire is a lot harder, a harder steel. It requires a higher tension. Um, and when you change this, the stringing scale and the tension of an instrument, you, you change the instrument fundamentally. On Friday, Hubner was painstakingly tuning the strings in preparation for a performance by the Connecticut Early Music Society at the New London Custom House Museum. It's very interesting, especially in the restoration field, rarely do you ever have a set of blueprints. Especially with historic things, documentation is hard to come by. And so you're always looking at an instrument and the design features and trying to figure out what was the original intent when they made it. It's always a guessing game, an educated guessing game. This style of, of, of square piano is very uh, close to the square pianos that uh, Mozart would have uh, used. Playing a piano this old offers a direct connection to the past. People ask, if, why, why would you want to revive these instruments I mean, in the 70s? People would throw them away, well, this, is, this is a waste, this is never going to stay in tune. But you, you have to understand that the music that was written by Mozart and, and early Beethoven, that's the sound that they had in mind that you can never get with the big hammers of modern pianos and the, the big thick strings. The virtual concert, a fundraiser for the Early Music Society and the Maritime Society, will stream via Zoom on Sunday, April 16th. There are hundreds of instruments that are stored in the Museum of Yale, of historical instruments, and that's fine. I think it's great to, to be preserving things, but if we don't give a shot at make, making a restoration, at playing these instruments, and, um, and have people hear them, then I think we, we lose the point of why we're interested in this instrument. We have to play them.